Hello everyone, this is Jamie from Etherspeak and today we are going through on configuring the Etherspeak trunks for uh, Link. Uh, with uh, my deployment I have Link Server 2013. Today we want to accomplish is adding the trunks to the topology builder and adding the information into the uh, Link Server uh, control panel. The first thing we'll want to go ahead and do is open up our topology builder and here's where we can define our new trunks and what port they talk on. I'll tell it to download the uh, current topology from my environment here. And everyone has a different naming convention. I just use the name and date to pretty much cover my names here. So now that we're loaded up here, I'm going to come down to, since I'm linked 2013, I have a share components folder where my PSTN gateways exist here. So I'm going to right click that and go to new IP PSTN gateway. And the one that I'm going to input today is a link options 2.ietherspeak.com. If you're given a different name, that's where you would want to put it in there. You can see a couple examples I have on the left already that might uh, be relevant to you depending on your deployment. use all my IP addresses on my server which is just the one anyway. Name is good. I need to change the port from the default Microsoft 5067 to 5060 which is the standard SIP port we talk on. And we're talking uh, TCP. Uh, unlike a lot of the other ones that talk UDP, Microsoft talks TCP. And just make sure your media mediation server port is 5060 here on the bottom. So that went ahead and put that in the PSTN gateway. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it got linked to the mediation server. And I see that it's in there. And since I don't have an OCS 2007 R2 server, I don't need to display a default server. However, I'll go ahead and make a default just in case, just to pretend we did here. So with that, all I need to do now is publish the topology that we've just built. Depending on your deployment, that may take a few seconds or a few minutes. All right, mine all checked out here, so I'll go ahead and finish, and I'm done in my topology builder. So next I'll go ahead and bring up my uh, link server control panel. And I'll be doing my work down in the voice routing here. Down here in the dial plan, I'm going to go ahead and just add a new pool dial plan. Notice that a few different choices came up since I have a few different ones uh, that we've uh, used here. In this case, uh, the link options 2 is the one I'm adding. Nothing special applies to my deployment, so I'm just going to use the keep all rule that's currently in the normalization here and hit OK. And after every section that you finish, you'll want to go in and commit and uh, commit all to uh, save your changes. And just going across the tabs here. Myself, I only have one voice policy that applies to everything. We can just take a look in here where I've enabled the different features and everything. You may have different PSTN usages uh, depending on your rules. Under PSTN usages, I'm just going here just to show you what I have here. Patterns to match is pretty much everything here. And I'm going to jump over to trunk configuration here. Now, I know a lot of people go ahead and uh, take care of the things in global. I'll go ahead and uh, add a new pool trunk. So that way if you had us and uh, multiple providers that required uh, different features, you could associate them differently here. So there's a few things I want to change once the uh, dialog pops up here. The encryption support I want to put not supported. I'm going to change the refer support to none. Depending on your setup you may want to enable media bypass which will 
allow the uh, media from your phones to not have to pass through the link server. Down on the next section, I'm just going to associate it with my those PSTN records I saw before here. In translation rules, this may look a little different in 2010 here. A uh, call link is uh, a link person making a call out to our system here. What I want to do is, since my users have extensions, is I want to delete the extension off of the number before it's sent out to us here. So I'll just make this simple and call it remove extension. And I've already built a little rule here on the side. And what this rule is basically telling it to do is I have four digit extensions, so it's telling it to delete the four digits extension off the number before sending it through to us so it's not in the packets. So since I already have the pattern built, I can just hit edit, paste that in there over what's currently, and it'll go ahead and adjust everything for me. And hit OK. And right there we'll see the uh, remove extension rule. Down here I'm going to do a called number transition to translate because my guys are all E164. Generally speaking we'll deliver 10 digits um, and we expect to receive 11 digits. Um, we can also deliver the uh, plus 11 digits should need be. So in this case, I'm going to expect to receive 10, so I'll go ahead and uh, make a uh, add plus 1 rule here in case I get a 10-digit uh, incoming here to me. And like before, we'll want to go ahead and commit all those changes here. And now, as I said, all these different settings can vary between deployments here. But the most important part is setting your route here. So mine I just called local route. Other people call it SIP trunk. Other people call it either speak SIP trunk. But the most important thing in here is that I associate it with that uh, SIP trunk that I created in the topology builder. So once I go in here, I'll find my link options too and add it in here. That'll associate it with the route so the system knows where to send calls to. Once again, commit all. Then you're able to go ahead and start assigning uh, numbers to your users so they can receive incoming calls. And at this point, once your account is set up on our side, you'll be able to make outgoing calls as well. Once again, this was Jamie with Etherspeak doing a brief overview on the uh, addition of SIP trunks to your link server, uh, specifically link server 2013. Hope you found it informative and you have a great day.